Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bonnie and welcome to Bonnie Beauty Hub. Hello. So, I have the foundation in my hand. It is the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. It has 5% squalene and hyaluronic acid. I don't know if this is a new foundation in the market, but I haven't seen this before. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it. In fact, I haven't been, seen anyone talk about it. And that's why I didn't realize that we had a Revlon foundation that had skin caring ingredients. And one, it was intriguing because there was something new that I did not know. I normally feel that I'm very well educated with what's new in the market. So I really felt bad that I didn't know about it because when I came and saw on the website, it was not in the new category. It was so maybe I missed it out. Another intriguing thing about this product, why I was drawn towards this was if you just saw the packaging, does it remind you of anything else? First, I apologize if there's any background noises. It is it is raining bad. It's crazy raining and it is so windy. It sounds like someone is howling outside. So <laughs> I apologize for the background sound if you hear that. This reminds me of the IT Cosmetics. So there is an IT Cosmetics foundation that comes in the bottle. This looks very similar to that. And when it says Illuminance, IT Cosmetic Foundation, it is, it is also an illuminating foundation. I don't know the name, but I'll just put a picture of it over here. But this reminded me so much about that foundation. And this was $17.99. And you know, if you go to Ulta, Anything above $15, you can use your 350 coupon. All right, so I have it in the shade 405 Hazel, and I think the color should match me. I have my brush. We're gonna try it out with brush on one side and the uh, <laughs> sponge on the other side. This noise is really, it's, it's distracting me. I'm just scared. That is going to blow my house away. <laughs> it's that bad. I just got a call from my son's school. I'm just giving you a background story because I'm trying to open it up. I just got a call from my son's school yesterday that um, it's the fifth time in the past 20 years that they've got this warning that it's going to be a really bad windy day and they had their school closed today. So that is there. And finally I opened it up. I just wanted to peel it off perfectly and that is why it took me time so it comes with a pump it comes with a pump it is a glass bottle which is really nice and let us see how the formulation is this is the formulation I think it is not too creamy it has a little bit of liquidy consistency and I think the color shade is really good I will read the claims of the foundation later on uh, once we do it but I know it has hyaluronic acid and squalene which squalene helps to capture the hydration and hyaluronic acid gives the hydration so yeah so first let me see as I told you it's 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 liquidy so this side I'm going to use my brush and here we go I did use my tried and tested Tatcha Primer. Right away, I can tell it is light to medium found, uh, coverage. I can already see the glow on my skin this side, especially when I see it in the viewfinder. Um, this side is a little bit mattified because of my primer and I can, I can see the glow. I do see the glow. I just, I took one pump and I just have this much left on my hand so I'm going to take the remaining on the brush and just buff it around. Even with a full pump, it is giving me hardly medium coverage. So let me try out the other side. I know when a brush gives me only this much coverage, with a sponge I'm going to get even less coverage but we are going to try it out. That is it. I took all the foundation and that is all I got I did not get any coverage so I'm gonna take two more pumps I'm gonna first point place the foundation on my skin and then blend it with a sponge now let's see how much coverage it gives us But whether it's a brush or a sponge, it is so easy to blend out the foundation. 
Oh, it's blending out like a dream. No patchiness. Okay, I definitely feel the side with a brush gave a little bit more uh, coverage. The, there's no significant difference, but yes, I can, because I'm having a very, very close look of my skin, I know that this side gives me more coverage and this side is more sheer. But because it's a sponge, I somehow feel that this side is a little more glowy than this side. So the sponge gives you more of a glow and the brush gives you more of a coverage. So I am not going to stop here. I just have a little more left from the two pumps that I took earlier. And now I'm going to use it all over my face. And I'm going to use my brush because I know that is giving me more coverage. So I'm going to see whether it's building coverage, whether it is coming up to medium coverage. Okay, so first, the thing that impressed me the most is the blendability. It is so easy to blend. And even the second layer, no patchiness. It was so easy, to, so smooth to blend. It is not giving me a blurred effect. I'm again looking for my mirror. It is not giving me a blurred effect, but yeah, it is definitely not full coverage. I can say that right now. It is okay. It is not emphasizing my texture for the amount of luminance that it's giving me. It is not emphasizing any of my texture, but the coverage, there's nothing great about the coverage. I just wanted to show you a close-up of my skin before I did my full face of makeup. See, it's giving me a very illuminating skin, a very fresh, glowy skin without emphasizing my texture, which is really good. I love that it's not emphasizing my texture. And you know, I have a lot of texture, especially in my jaw area, under my eyes, near my my pores, obviously. But it's not emphasizing anything. It's giving me a really, um, a really younger looking skin I can say because of the glow um, other than that not great nothing to do with the coverage itself but let me do my full face of makeup and I'll be right back okay so I am back from my full face of makeup and the thing that impressed me the most I think I'm saying the same thing again is the blendability and it did not move it did not budge I used a powder bronzer and I used a cream blush so I mixed powder creams all around and it did not budge the foundation the base laid the way it was the way we laid it so the time right now is 12 o'clock I'm gonna show it to you um, and I did this somewhere around 11 30 so yeah you can see the time is 12 o'clock so it's been half an hour that I wore the foundation and I've been playing around with some other things if you find a good mascara Please, please, please let me know. I'm struggling to find a really good mascara. I, right now, I tried two different mascaras to bring at least this much uh, length and volume. I like something that gives me a very good curl and a length. Even if there's no volume, just the spiky length, I'm good enough with that. But it's so tough to, to find a good mascara. I want the Benefit Roller Lashes is my favorite lengthening mascara. But I want to find something else. I'm bored of using the same product again and again. So, not to get diverted, but so far the foundation is really, really pretty. I did read that it has titanium dioxide, which means SPF, which means white cast so I am going to put pictures of me taking my selfie with and without flash and we'll see if we have a flashback but so far really good I don't know as time is going I feel it's showing like a white cast on my entire face initially I thought it looks very very good it's matching my neck but right now it looks a little lighter than my neck for some reason is it brightening? <laughs> I don't know. So before I go, I wanted to show you a close-up of my skin while right now. It is, it's looking really good. I love the finish that it's giving me. For $17.99, I'm going to tell $15 because of the $3.50 off on Ulta. So for $15, this is giving amazing look. I Now I'll take it back. I'm not worried about the coverage because... The concealer and the bronzer, everything else has done its work and now it's giving me an amazing finish. So I'll see you at the end of the day. All right, so I am back for my final check-in. I am so tired. I don't think it is, it's just eight minutes earlier before it could complete eight hours. And that's my son. <laughs> um, so 
yeah, almost eight hours. And there is good news. There is good news that I am loving this foundation. It is not settling into any of my pores, not settling into fine lines, my forehead. It, it looks beautiful. And it's not that in the beginning, only a little bit of my hyperpigmentation was speaking through and now it's completely, the foundation is gone, worn off, and I can see even more hyperpigmentation. That is not the case here. It is exactly the same. It was looking the way I did my foundation this morning. Uh, and I did use a little bit of concealer over here so my hyperpigmentation is completely covered up. It hasn't eaten up any of my bronzer, my blush, and the highlighter. The glow is from the highlighter, but there is a lot of glow from the foundation itself. So overall, I think for a drugstore foundation, this is amazing. I, I, I just love it. I, I, I don't know why people are not talking about this. Yeah, I, it's really bummed me out that I did not know about this foundation. And it's so good. People are not talking about it. More people need to talk about this foundation. I don't know what's wrong. So yeah, they have 28 shades, but when I picked, when I went to the Ulta store to pick it up, they only had 14 shades. Maybe that is why I could not find my right match. I don't know, for some reason, after some time when I look into the mirror, it looks like it's slightly lighter than my neck. So I think I would, I would need a better match. I can go one shade darker. But yeah, it's only available online. Maybe Ulta would bring it to the store in future. But right now, at least in the store that I went to, they only had 14 shades. The shade range is good. The price range is very good. It has squalene and hyaluronic acid, which are amazing ingredients. It looks beautiful. It just gives a youthful glow. And it's not emphasizing any of my textures. So I don't want to miss out <laughs> that by not showing my skin close up. Can you guys believe? Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. And see, because I use my concealer, even my hyperpigmentation is not that visible. It has covered up a lot of my scars and hyperpigmentation as well. So it's a medium coverage and it sits really, really well on the skin for a long time. I am 40 years old and I have oily combination skin and this is how it works on my skin type for eight hours. So if you haven't heard about this foundation just like me, or if you have heard about it and thinking about trying it, definitely give it a try. It is totally worth the buck. I think this is gonna be an amazing foundation for photography. It is giving you the glow from within without emphasizing the textures. It is, on the screen, it just looks so blurred. It has such a soft effect on camera and it looks really beautiful so i think this is going to be an amazing foundation for photography so that is it from my side if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you very much for watching till the end and i'll see you all in my next video bye